Hello everybody, this is Mark from Mark's Mandalas and I am going to be showing you how to smooth a rock today. Um, I have a rock here that is a great shape and uh, I would love to use it except that it's too rough. I have an example of a rock I'm going to bring into this shot here, one I did a while ago, and this has two sides to it, same pattern. This is one on this side that has no spackle on it. And the dots are okay, but when you get closer in, they look a little bit more like blobs. Now, I spackled the other side of the rock into the same pattern, and you're going to notice that the dots are a lot more circular. It's also a lot easier to work on a smooth canvas versus a rough one. And I'm going to show you really quickly here how I spackle a rough rock that I would like to use for a mandala. This is the stuff I use right here, Drydex Spackling. It goes on pink and dries white. Um, I use a combination of my hands and then I use a putty knife to scrape off the excess spackle so I don't have to sand as much after it dries. So I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off the spackle here. And you don't need very much. You'll tend to use too much at least at first. This is probably going to be enough for the whole rock, but um, let's find out. I only do one side of the rock plus the sides because a lot of my uh, mandalas will go over the edge of the rock. And I'm just going to smooth it on here. Just rub it in. Don't worry about getting your hands dirty because this stuff washes off really easy. Um, just soap and water. And you notice I don't even have a cover on my table. It's not a nice table to begin with, but um, if I get any spackle, I'll use a little bit more here on the table and it dries, I can just wash it right off with the wet sponge. And I just want to cover everything so that it's, I don't see any big uh, divots that are still exposed. And uh, it looks like that this is covered pretty good. Now if I let this dry, it's going to take me more time to sand. I'm going to put the lid back on this because I don't want it to dry out. And I'm going to grab my putty knife. My hands are dirty, but that's okay. This stuff washes right off. And I'm just going to scrape along the surface here. And if you're doing more than one rock at a time, you can take this excess and wipe it onto the next rock to continue using it. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to wipe that on my hand. Because I want to show you what the rock looks like when I get done doing my spackling. It almost takes on the appearance if you're looking at the surface of the moon. And it has that appearance of craters, but the spackle is filled in all of those craters. And you can still see where it's at because it's pink. That's pretty good there. That should save me a lot of time in sanding. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry now, and when I come back, I'm going to go ahead and sand this down, and you can see what it looks like. Okay, everybody, I'm back. It has been about 25 minutes or so, and as you can see, the rock has a white spackle on it now instead of pink. That means that it's dry. Um, another thing that's nice about getting as little spackle on there as possible is it takes less time for it to dry. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sand off uh, the excess spackle right now to give it a smooth surface and it is advisable that you do wear a dust mask when you do this. Um, dust particles from this stuff is not particularly good for you so just a good rule of thumb is to put your dust mask on. I might sound a little bit different right now but that's because I'm wearing my dust mask. I have a sanding block here. This is 220 grit. You can use anywhere between 150 and 220 grit and that should get you uh, results that are going to be desirable. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and start sanding. I like to go in a circular motion. And I just go around the rock. And you'll see, possibly, I'm not sure if it's going to show up in the camera or not, some of the spackle coming off. And you just go around anywhere that you put spackle on. You want to go ahead and sand that. You can go back and forth if you want to, but I just have a habit of going in a circular motion. Some on the bottom side here. I don't want to have any extra build up there. So even though you're not going to see that part, I want to get all the extra 
spackle off that I can. And I think that's pretty good. You can just kind of feel with your hand. If you feel any divots or anything. And you notice there's some dust in my hands. Uh, something you can do is take a very slightly damp cloth, not wet, but I mean just really wring it out so it's just barely damp, and you can wipe the rock to get all that extra dust off of there. And that actually feels nice and soft. I don't see any areas that need extra attention. You can always do a, a second coat on this and it will tend to make it even a little bit smoother. And um, But I think that this one here is gonna be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spray paint this with a flat black. Um, you can also paint on whatever other undercoat that you would like to use um, as this rock is now ready to turn into a beautiful mandala. Thank you for watching my rock smoothing tutorial and until next time, rock on!